and the speed by myself. I think it's wow. Today I will test the car with full luggage and baby seat, and how the electric and the fuel will take from Shenzhen to Guangzhou. 130 kilometers. Now I have 68% of electric and the system said it can run about 97 kilometers. And the, another important thing, zero fuel. So I will take some fuel first. A few minutes later. So um, I can't find a fuel station so I decide <laughs> to go straight to my destination without any fuel and if I go across any fuel station I will add some fuel but it's a very real situation for me to te test how much energy it will cost on the road Already about already an hour, uh, 40 minutes, around 40 minutes after, and then it still has 92 kilometers to my destination. And now my electric range is not enough to support me to go to my destination. After four kilometers, there's a service zone, so I can add some fuel to support the car and, I, and now it still have 35% of electric I have to say this car, this power is still very strong I have 34% of electric it still left 85 kilometers on the dashboard and then nothing and now we can see I still have 34% of electric 144 kilometers as the fuel range 86 kilometers to my destinations and uh, this situation is quite co common you don't have enough time to charge in the charging station or service zone you just need to add fuel and go and now because it's a traffic jam situation I can open the ACC assist driving mode which can help you kind of control the view but if you use your, your foot to push the back it will click the assist driving mode immediately well some people said it's not that smart for drivers but I think maybe it can help you feel more safety especially you are driving a car now it's creating the assist driving mode so I have to control the view and the speed by myself I think it's wow you know that's the situations we we come and face thanks to the speed I can go cross whatever I want and I don't care they, they can't cross to my head because and then they are now fast enough, right? So finally, we arrive in my destination. The average fuel cost is 9.5 liters, 100 kilometers. And the average electric cost is 8.6 kilowatts, 100 per 100 kilometers. 
and now I only left 29 kilometers on the gas I don't feel for real as an owner it's now my first time to drive such distance because I have already driven drive, driven 10,000 kilometers for these cars and uh, for most situation I usually charge my car as a full electric within fuel solar fuel cost is very good but today I am uh, in a busy situation so I don't have time to charge my car so in the end the fuel cost is still good but now good as what I expected I think that's the common problem for reef car 